Hi, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. I'm still here at the New York International Gift Fair 2008 at the New York Javits Convention Center. I'm here with Sari Pace from Strange Co. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Okay. So what's up from uh, Strange Co? Okay. Well, Strange Co, we're an artist-based designer toy company. Um, we work with a bunch of different artists from all around the world and take their artwork and turn it into affordable art. Um, right here we have King Ken. He's a mini series. He used to be a big toy that we've turned into smaller toys. It comes in a blind box series. It's kind of like baseball card trading. It's mystery box packaging. You have no idea what you're going to get. And there's special toys that come in too. So you try to collect them all. Um, It'll be coming out in October. And how much is the um, price for that? They're going to be roughly $8 retail. And are they articulated? Are they what? Articulated. Um, Posable? Um, yeah, they can. They move around a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, their arms move, and that's kind of it. Okay. Yeah, and there'll be a special colorway that you won't know about until they're in the stores. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you also have up on top here. Yeah, up here. These are, um, they're more the prototypes, so they're not completely finished yet. There's a new artist we're working with. Her name's Julie West from the UK. And it's Bumble and Tweet. So you can see one has bees and one has birds. Um, eventually, once they're finished being made, the bees and the birds will be magnetic to the hats. And they will be available in September to October. And they're a $25 retail and will be sold separately. And you will find most of these products where? You can find them if you go to strangeco.com. We can tell you what stores to find them in, but they're sold worldwide. Mostly uh, designer niche stores, museum stores, lifestyle stores. Uh, places like New York, Tokyo, and yeah. um, um, I think uh, Toy Robot. Uh, not Toy Robot, but Toy Tokyo sells them. My Plastic Cart in New York. Um, okay. A couple stores in Brooklyn, but the best way is if you go through us, we'll tell you where since we don't do retail. Okay. Yeah. Now, next up, we have here from you guys. Over here, we have um, this is the Tiger. It's from Tokidoki, um, co produced with us. Um, it's a new series that just started shipping to stores this week. There's four different colors, they're all a $20 price point. Um, Tokidoki does many different toys, so this is one of their newer families that we have coming out, and you should see it this week at the earliest to next week. Yeah, yeah just be these four colors right here for now? It's just these four colors right now, yes. Is there any backstory on the um, toys right here? Like, you know, usually you have like a little story. Yeah, let me see. These ones, if you see, the packaging has great stories. Um, so it says the yellow tiger likes books, punk rock music, jogging and playing soccer. The pink tiger likes hot weather, staying at home, eating spicy food and playing video games. The white tiger is the most aggressive. He's a natural born hunter who loves deer venison, carpaccio. The orange tiger is vegetarian and less aggressive than the rest of his friends. He likes surfing and relaxing on the beach. So they all come with just, you know. It's fun stuff. The inside of the packaging is pretty cool too. It, it gives them their home as a real home. You can tell kind of it's got their little curiosities and interests in the box. Hmm. Uh, also from Tokidoki, we have a few other items that are coming out soon. To the right, you'll see Buleto. <laughs> Buleto is the newest addition to the Mufia family. Buleto is Mozzarella's boyfriend that will be in stores next month. And behind them is their Mufia, which is kind of like their militia minions. Uh, they protect all the kids that get bullied uh, in the cafeteria, get their lunch money stolen. So they are here to protect you, get your money back, and extort milk from their lunch boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so always good stuff to go around. And the families keep building. The Mufia are more, uh, the small ones are blind box. Okay. And then Buleto, you can tell when you buy him. <laughs> anyway, your last thing you have here is um... and down here we have Cocomando. It's a new series that will be starting from Tokidoki. Um, 
Cocomandos from the jungle. He has a pineapple grenade, a banana on his hat, oversized coconut shell, and he'll be out in October. Uh, he isn't in any stores right now, and look forward to possibly his family growing. And let's see. So that's some of his packaging here. Now, do you guys handle the packaging design also, by yeah. any chance? Our company, we do. We work with the artists on most of the projects we do, but we do all the production ourselves. We work with the artists, so we take in consideration what they want to do, and then in-house, we design the product, turn it from 2D to 3D, and make it the affordable art just available for all to appreciate. Now, will you all be doing anything for yourselves or anything for Strange Co? Will Strange Co be putting out its own product? Um, I don't know in the future, but mostly it, the the love of it is working with artists we admire and making Strange Co products for those artists. Okay. Well, thank you, Sari. Thank you. From Strange Co. Hi, how are you? It's Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. Catch you all later. <laughs>